Recently, the Spanish Ministry of Social Inclusion launched a very big initiative of, uh, of testing and implementing innovative policies to promote, uh, to, ha to help low-income populations. From the very beginning, from the outset, we thought of J-PAL, because we knew that J-PAL is a reference in, in the academic world with a huge uh, network of very distinguished ac academics and, and, and practitioners. And for us, it uh, was uh, also very important to introduce from the outset randomized controlled trials uh, in, our, in our experiments, in our pilots. Hmm? And the unique thing about it is that they decided to test it with the most rigorous uh, possible way, which was through randomized controlled trials, and they put that in the law, right? So that was very, very special. And the reaction from j was transformative because um, they supported us uh, from the very beginning. We created like a Spanish-based network of about 18 researchers that we could provide support to the ministry. Uh, and j also contributed with, uh, with, uh, with funding a j manager that helped us in just uh, setting up the, the organization. Now we are um... There are up to 38 itineraries, uh, pathways, projects, pilots or, uh, in Spain with, with beneficiaries of the minimum income scheme and we have a scientific committee and we have a number of um, initiatives associated and J-PAL is very much present and we are extremely happy that J-PAL is, is supporting us. It has been very interesting to see um, the process in the Spanish context because before this big initiative, uh, Spain had very little experience with prior RCTs. There was almost no RCT. Um, but also we don't have a large tradition of Spain of evaluation of public policies in the, in the causal way. So for the years to come, we, we, we actually expect to double the amount of, of, of public money devoted to, to these projects in, in those who are actually uh, involved so, so far, uh, JPAL, we are investing uh, 300 uh, million euro, euros. Policymakers might have different needs in terms of what evidence they, they need in, in, or, or what decisions are feasible or what they, they have in mind. Sometimes they work with uh, not a lot of long-term planning, right? So just being able to be uh, there in the right time and knowing them so that they know that the answer they're going to get from you is useful, it's incredibly important. We want uh, the Spanish government, but also other European uh, countries, uh, governments, believe that in the new um, fiscal framework in Europe, we should try to give a privileged treatment to those investment on the social front that um, are particularly beneficial uh, from a long-term prospect of the countries. And I think that we need methodology, we need evaluation, and this should be a European-wide initiative. And actually, the, you know, as part of the uh, next generation funds to, for the recovery of COVID. And one of the deliverables that the European Commission uh, requested from the Spanish government is that they wanted to see 18 good practices, meaning the deliverable was the high quality evidence on what works. And I think that uh, I think that that's, you know, the, the European Commission and European um, institutions, I wish they could play that role more often, saying, I, don't, I not only want you to spend this money and to help people, I want you to see what are the returns on this investment, and I want to see that through well-designed and rigorous evaluation. So I, I wish this could, you know, be the beginning of a much broader uh, change.